hello guys welcome back to my channel i remain your host agu joseph in my last tutorial video we created a flyer design for design reef okay for creative to be specific but in today's video we'll be looking at how to create uh, these patterns because i didn't actually cover that aspect in the tutorial video okay so i'll be working you through on how to create these from images that actually has them and here is the images I derived this from okay so please if you're actually new to the channel and you're yet to subscribe do well to smash the subscribe button and turn on the post notification bell to get notification whenever I upload new content on my channel and if you're a returning subscriber thank you guys for always watching but without further ado let's dive into this video so in order for me to create these uh, patterns okay I have to open the Adobe Illustrator program okay which I actually have here and create a new project for that purpose so here i'll be using the e4 canvas size and setting the orientation to landscape to be precise color mode on rgb uh this should be set on 300 ppi and you can click on the create button so here we have the canvas on which we'll be uh vectorizing the image on uh the next thing i like to do is to place in the images i'll be using so the keyboard shortcut is called shift ctrl p on the keyboard can actually get you there okay so i like to identify the images i'll use for illustration i've selected these two images and i'll click on the place so i'll come over here left click and drag this in left click and drag this in these are the two images i'll be using for illustration so over here in illustrator uh, there's a panel called the property panel mine is actually directly over here you can see it but yours might be appearing directly beneath this uh, menu bar where you have file edit and the rest you should appear directly beneath it all depends on how you actually customize your user interface okay so for this you, this is the exact image i used and in order for me to do this all i have to do is to click on image trees and over here on image trees this actually comes up if you look closely on this image you notice that we have various patterns and various color combinations over here and they should be around three to six colors combos over here so i'll come over here and select six colors to be specific and wait for it to actually load okay so wait for it to load up and uh, and we are good to go okay so afterwards you can click on the expand over here and click on on group okay so afterwards i can come over here select my move to okay or my selection to and i can select anyone and drag it into my canvas okay i can left click and drag this into my canvas can left click on this and drag this into my canvas as well likewise these can be dragged into my canvas okay so that was uh, how i was able to achieve that using uh, the adobe illustrator so i can also make some modifications in terms of uh, the colors so i can select any one of these and change its color by double clicking over here and change the color to any color of my choice so i might select this click on ok can come over here select this give it the color of my choice maybe this and give it this so it all actually depends on you okay and what you intend to actually achieve doing that okay so you can also drag in other patterns and also make your modification and position them the way you want them and use them in your design project okay so that is in terms of that so similar technique is also applicable to this image as well so i'll just have to select the image by left clicking on it image trees okay and select six colors because i can see lots of colors on this as well and wait for it to load expand and ungroup it okay so i can come over here select this drag it into my canvas 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 and i can still make the same modification i did over here by changing the colors and among others okay so you can still take your modifications a step further by uh trying to uh change the way the uh the illustration comes out okay by selecting the direct selection to 
can hit Ctrl plus okay i've selected this you can come over here choose to click on this to give it a round edge okay it all depends on what you want or you can come over here okay and make modification holding control left click okay you left click first then left click and drag out to position it you can use this to actually straighten the angles and make other adjustments this as well you can hold your control left click and adjust its angles as well you can hold your control and make all those modifications holding control again you can take this down this way holding control again i can adjust this this way okay zoom in furthermore holding control you can adjust the anchor point looking this way okay you can left click on this take it down like this okay make it straight you can also do that here by left clicking here hold, still holding your control and you can make your modification as as you actually want it to appear on your on your on your images and you are actually good to go so how do you go about using this in your photoshop um, come over here after i'm actually done with uh selecting and positioning them the way i want them to appear and giving them the colors of my choice you can select them by left clicking and dragging out and highlighting them this way and hit ctrl g to actually group them okay so ctrl c to copy okay ctrl c actually enables you to copy you can head over to your photoshop interface where you're actually working on the project and hit ctrl v to actually paste it set this on smart objects and click on the ok button for that and you can click on the check you can take this directly above every other layer so that you can see it visibly here and i can move it and position it wherever i want to position it in my design project okay that is in terms of that but while working on the project and you still need to make modification all you have to do is to head over to where you have this layer here that is the actual layer for the uh, for the file okay double click on this icon over here okay you double click on it it will take you back to the illustrator file okay so it will take you back to illustrator i can come over here right click and ungroup them and make other modification i might choose to change the color of this to this okay i can still head over here change the color of this to maybe red okay and afterwards i can click on ctrl s to actually save the changes ctrl s enables enables you to change to save the changes you can head over back to your photoshop and you notice the effect has been applied on this okay so that is in terms of going about doing this okay so you can also head over to your illustrator file and export them okay you can actually export them this way the the way you have them as an image or as a vector file you can head over to make sure it is actually directly inside your canvas not outside the canvas because anything outside the canvas can't be actually saved okay so you can come over here on file head over to export and save as okay under save as here you can select your png file format give it a name select a file part and click on export and you are actually good to go you have it as image that is in terms of that or you can also save it as an illustrator file by hitting ctrl shift s okay and you can see this is the file type you can give it a name select a file part and click on save and you have it as an illustrator file okay so ladies and gentlemen we have come to the end of today's tutorial video if you do find this video helpful do it to smash the like button do it to give the video a like guys so that the youtube algorithm can actually suggest this content to other creative on the youtube search engine guys if you are new to the channel and you are yet to subscribe do it to smash the subscribe button and turn on the post notification bell to get notification whenever i upload new content on my channel and if you're a returning subscriber, thank you for always watching, okay? You can leave your questions and comments in the comment section. I'll be attending to them as well. Please do well to share this video with other creatives around you so that they can learn from this video, okay? And see you in the next.